Hello folks and thanks for tuning in to another one of Henco's short videos. As you all know at Henco we like to give a little bit of information that helps everyone to maximize their water jet and the dollars they're putting into it. So today we're going to talk about the thimble filter assembly and what, what it is, why you would use it, and where to install it, how to take care of it. The what. The what of a thimble filter. Thimble filter is a small high pressure filter that is installed as close to your orifice assembly as possible. It, it consists of a, a, a plethora of five and a half thousandths diameter holes that are specifically sized to catch any debris that can't safely pass through your orifice. Why someone would use a, a thimble filter assembly? Essentially to protect your orifice assembly and any downstream components from there uh, from all of the, the debris or the metal shavings or um, you know anything that's introduced into your system after your low pressure inlet filters. A lot of folks when they talk about filtration of water are, are primarily focused on the low pressure side of things but there's not a lot out there that helps to filter out any of the contaminants that are introduced after that on the high pressure side of your system. So within a, within a water jet system any of the contaminants that are introduced after your intensifier or from your intensifier out essentially they have to they have to exit your system somewhere and the only place that that's going to happen is through your cutting head or through your orifice assembly so one of the things that you want to do is catch those contaminants rather than allowing them to uh, consistently beat down on the top of your orifice or essentially break your jewel crack your jewel or chip your jewel and these thimble filters will help catch those contaminants so that they don't damage anything further down the line. Who should use a thimble filter? Uh, in, in our opinion, uh, everyone should use a thimble filter. It is highly recommended for a diamond, um, specifically uh, with a Henco 1200D cutting head. Without the thimble filter assembly, we will not warranty your diamond. However, with the thimble filter assembly, will warranty your diamond for 600 hours within within that 1200D cutting head. Um, we also recommend it to be used, uh, whether you're using a tetracore orifice or a ruby or sapphire orifice, just based on the fact that it is gonna catch that one piece that's gonna go through and it's gonna instantly, instantly break that orifice. So how and where to install your thimble filter assembly? There are high pressure components that are modified to accept your thimble filter and for the most part, what is most recommended is to install them right at your valve body. Essentially, the thimble filter will slide into the back of your 3 8 inch or your quarter inch bullet right at the adapter that goes into your valve body, and that's going to be the closest you're going to be able to get to that orifice assembly to protect your diamond. If you cannot access that in the system that you're currently running, we just ask that you follow your line upstream and get it into the closest possible high pressure fitting that, to your orifice assembly so that you're, you're catching all the contaminants as close to that orifice as possible. All right, so let's talk about how to care for your thimble filter. If you go ahead and install a thimble filter, what you're gonna wanna do is, is schedule some periodic maintenance on your thimble filter uh, in order to take it apart and clean it, uh, check it, and remove any debris that might have uh, might have built up on the back end of that. In order to clean it, uh, super simple, uh, what I do recommend is you take a piece of plywood or a piece of cardboard and lay it out over your table uh, Just so that when you do take that apart uh, You don't you don't drop it in the bottom of your tank uh, quite frankly when when folks coming back and buy a second one for their same cutting head Typically, it's, it's because they dropped it in their tank uh, That is a stainless element uh, it, it is gonna last you uh, quite a long time um, It's not a use it once and throw it away type item uh, what you're going to want to do is remove that and you're going to want to back flush it, clean it out. You can use uh, brake parts cleaner or you can use um, uh, uh, ultrasonic cleaner in order to get, it, get rid of any of the debris or any of the contaminants that are, that are in that, that thimble filter. From there, you're going to want to reinstall it just as you installed it the first time. Uh, one of the reasons that the periodic maintenance is important is as time goes on, if you, for, if you install it and you forget that it's in there, you're going to get a lot of debris buildup in there, which is going to impede your your uh, your water flowing through or passing through to your orifice and your cutting head. 
Um, essentially what that's going to do is you're going to lose, you're going to lose cut quality, you're going to lose the pressure at the cutting head even though your system's telling you uh, you're cutting at the pressure you set it at, you're not getting that full effectiveness down at the cutting head. Thank you again for watching another one of Henco's short videos. We hope you learned a lot today. If you do have any questions, please reach out to us, uh, one of our water jet specialists at 8334-HENCO. Uh, or go ahead and visit our website www.hencowaterjet.com uh, We also want to thank DTI as all of our thimble filters are manufactured by DTI. Uh, DTI is uh, one of the worldwide leaders in orifice technology.